Welcome to the update. Nath Gardner with you. As retail and hospitality industries open their doors in New South Wales, finding staff is proving difficult. Daniel Hunter from Business New South Wales says border closures means workers are in short supply. We don't have the backpackers coming through. We don't have those people doing those overseas experience. You know, in Australia, we rely on immigration and migration for short-term and long-term labour. More than one million Australians have already signed up for the Million Dollar Vax campaign. A group of philanthropists set up the unique drive to increase vaccination rates. Craig Winkler from the Alliance telling Seven he's delighted with the response in the campaign's first week. The important thing for us is that we're actually making sure that people are safer in our community, particularly the more vulnerable people in the community. That's, that's really why we're doing this. Meantime, the COVID vaccine rollout in Victoria Victoria is being broadened. Pfizer and Moderna jabs are now being offered to people of all ages. Staying in Victoria amid claims of branch stacking, Labor MP Luke Donnellan has resigned from the state government cabinet. It's after an IBAC probe found the minister had paid for people's Labor Party memberships or branch stacking. The Weather Bureau has forecast Queensland is facing a higher than average risk from cyclones, bushfires and floods this summer. It's warning people to prepare for the worst in their region as soon as possible. A man caught at Sydney Airport with terrorist-related material in 2016 trying to fly to Bangladesh has been jailed for at least four years. Some of the material included instructions for bomb making. And postage delays are causing headaches for beekeepers. Queen bee breeders say crucial stock is turning up dead or going missing. To sport now, the Socceroos are chasing 12 straight World Cup qualifying wins when it takes on Japan this week, but coach Graham Arnold says the team isn't focused on the record. I celebrate or reflect on something that's not over. So, you know, one step at a time, but, uh, you know, it's obviously it's a great achievement. You know, one one I'll uh, reflect on whenever that is, but I'm, when I leave this job. And in cricket, there'll be no decision review system for the upcoming Big Bash season. The league says COVID-19 and border closures are stopping DRS being rolled out this year. To entertainment news now, Billie Eilish has added new shows to her tour down under. Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne and Perth have extra nights when the singer heads our way in September next year. Chanel's latest runway show at Paris Fashion Week was heavily inspired by the 90s and the supermodels that made the era. And George Clooney has ruled out running for political office. The actor, once considered taking a tilt at politics, says he likes his life just the way it is. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.